Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Aries. If you are Aries Sun, Moon, and especially rising, uh, you may have a natural chart, which means that the general collective astrology forecast for July released here on this channel is especially relevant for you. And that is the beauty of being an Aries. And it's a big month. You have a full moon in your house of career and um, public achievement, right? The first three days of the month. So really the first through the seventh, you'll be experiencing this full moon in your house of career and public achievement, indicating this huge new beginning for you. In addition to the note of blessings and destiny entering your sign on the day of the Cancer New Moon this month, all while your houses of money, home and family life, spiritual wisdom, romance, creativity, and travel and health are all experiencing activity. So watch the July 2023 astrology forecast video to see some really key, specific, practical, strategic astrology and spiritual guidance for the month. In addition to this video, it's so specific for you, indicating so much spiritual activity and transformation for you. And the cards that came out for you absolutely mirror the astrology, but offer some different and specific insights as well. So watch both videos. So for example, right, this month's astrology is all about a balancing act because like I mentioned, all of the main houses are activated. Additionally, all of the major outer planets, Pluto, Saturn, and Neptune are retrograde. And then the full and new moons combined with an abundance of Uranus and Mercury aspects and the nodes of destiny and karma shifting into your sign and your sister sign related to love relationships and partnerships. It just makes this a deeply spiritual, but also a really practical and action-oriented month. And so it's about finding deeper clarity in who you are, finding meaning from the past, and finding inner outer balance for flow and fearless focused action to align and create your future, right? Taking advantage of these positive transits as you come into contact with new creative and spiritual ideas, experiences, and faded connections, right? And this maps on to you receiving the King of Pentacles as your overall energy of the month. Excuse the noise, that is my cat wreaking habit. And uh, there's a particular message related to that later, but this maps on to you receiving the King of Pentacles as your overall energy of the month, right? And the Moon card as your potential challenge of the month, in addition to the King of Wands and the Divine Wisdom as the cards representing unexpected and external factors coming in this month. We also have the Take a Leap card as your advice while having the Upper World Flow card reversed and the Earth Keeper as your deeper spiritual lessons of the month, right? So it is precisely this balancing act that I mentioned. And this King of Pentacles, you know, maintaining faith and inner and outer balance and also maturely balancing a spiritual life upper world activity that is bringing in lots of divine wisdom with practical material life responsibilities, right? And it all happening during cancer season. The moon card is related to the sign of cancer. All right. So if you look at this King of Pentacles card, the color story also shows this connection between the cards, right? Um, how this King of Pentacles is about you showing up as this mature, wise, financially stable and responsible person who wears or even is surrounded by gold or, or the earth, right? And earth responsibilities and this blue, right? And the color story is about, you know, this King of Pentacles being shaped by the past constrictions, 
demonstrations of confidence and determination represented by the strength card and shaped, guided, and protected by spiritual wisdom in this incredible relationship that you have with the spiritual realm, even a spiritual animal companion, right? Um, where you are co-creating your reality and abundance with them, right? And so I got a few messages from the cards, right? And it's just really about July contributing a financial stability or some income support for you this month to take a leap of faith and follow your dream, to invest in a dream or education of some sort, maybe to travel to a sacred site. Um, maybe this financial stability finally coming from a dream job or work that is spiritual and emotionally fulfilling now, right? Or or even from an investor or an institution. I'm seeing the King of Pentacles as both a financial institution um, of supportive masculine who helps you with some sort of financial logistics um, and as also representing your current personal source of income, right? Being connected to the blue and gold in these cards, right? Um, and it being about this mature, wise, healthy, financially stable and responsible aspect of yourself that you are cultivating and embodying this month. I'm seeing this King of Wands as this aspect of yourself being cultivated this month as well, right? In terms of you feeling a sense of creative and physical confidence, um, independence and mastery in your ventures, right? While the King of Pentacles and King of Wands also both indicate like significant encounters with older or wise elders or men, right? That may be from different cultures, also indicating divine wisdoms about money, about culture, a tradition, or a craft of some sort as well. And in terms of challenges, right, with this moon card, when I pulled the strength and the moon cards, my cat came and sat right on the cards and she was just so adamant about interrupting me in particular doing your reading, right? And so that's why I said like, even her just making this noise right now, it's, this is a totally different time when I'm even recording this, right? Um, but again, her making noise and interrupting me, it was like, when I pulled your spread, she came and sat right on the spread. She was adamant about interrupting me. And then I also just started getting all of these distractions like out of nowhere, like noise outside of my door, uh, next door, phone calls and, and emails with other professional news and things that needed my attention, right? And then the angel number messages were also just coming in back to back on like all of my different clocks throughout the message, right? And that is another way that I received guidance, but it was it was just like I was like, whoa, right? And this is the obstruction to flow and emotional control that uh the cards are talking about, right? With this flow in reverse, right? And again, this astrology being all about balance, right? And so this is what will be happening for you, I'm getting, right? Focus on home life, distractions, spiritual messages from everywhere, maybe from pets, having to deal with pet and child care, um, all of these things, right, that could try to get in the way of you focusing on your money and responsibilities. Um, and just in general, maybe just having more of all of these different things happening at once, right? Just requiring a different kind of maturity and um, exercising a particular kind of much like maturity and responsibility and like just work life balance, et cetera, and just well rounded life, right? Just being really responsible, right? And so you might also experience people attempting to infringe on your space or boundaries or even your spiritual time 
or you just having lots of social invites or temptation as well this month. And again, this being the balancing act required during this Cancer and Leo season, right? It's just such a cardinal, mercurial, and action-oriented month. And the moon card is indicating that the Capricorn full moon and the Cancer new moon will be significant this month, right? Bringing you deep revelations, deep wisdoms uh, that guide your next steps in your career and in relationship to um, where you settle and how you form relationships. You know, these full moons and new moons, helping you to understand your purpose and your identity as an earth angel, as a wisdom keeper operating between the realms, right? For example, if you even take a look at this, um, take a leap card, right? It shows this figure like just midair, right? Just kind of like in the elements, like in the upper world, but also, um, in this very natural landscape, right? And so, yeah, it's like there is a message here just about you gaining deeper wisdom and coming to see who you are as both an earth angel and a wisdom keeper operating between the realms this month. But there is a message here, right? For you to let some things you know and discover gestate for a while, right? Not to take immediate action or to disclose everything, right? Um, with this moon and then the Knight of Wands being in reverse next to it. Um, you know, there's a message here about discretion as well, knowing what to reveal and what to keep secret and sacred between you and the divine. And uh, when I got this message in particular, I got the angel number 133. And, and, and then uh, later in the message, I got the angel number 311. We're going to close out your reading by reading the angel number messages for you. But in general, just know that that is something that is coming through. It's also related to the astrology. Um, some astrology details that I've mentioned in the uh, astrology forecast, right? But there is something here about you coming to understand and or you needing to know, you taking this message as a sign, right? That this is a month about you being a spiritual observer, right? In a sense, you being God's eyes and ears. And that was the message that I got, right? And this is about you operating as the King of Wands, right? So for example, we have the Knight of Wands uh, reverse here that came out as the card for the energy for the middle of the month, right? So what may be coming for you um, or entering into your life for the main energy around the middle of the month. And uh, we got the Knight of Wands reverse. Here is the energy. And so mid-month is also the time of the new moon and the, no the North Node entering your sign. And so it's about this incredible transition point, this sort of indication that this new moon the transition of the North Node into Aries, bringing in this sort of quantum leap for you, really, truly. And this quantum leap could be related to adventure that you undertake, maybe some travel. If you have travel lined up around in July, like this video, leave a comment, let me know, right? Um, and leave an emoji, leave something like an airplane or the, or the earth, right? Something that lets me know. <laughs> but um, this is indicating that if you have something like travel or just something significant lined up around this time, it's like this middle of the month where we have the new moon and the North Node coming into Aries. It's about this quantum leap that's also this sort of rite of passage. Any experiences that you have um, that are really significant this month, being a part of a rite of passage for you, where you're going to encounter wisdom as this sort of spiritual graduation, right? This, you're entering into this new phase of life, uh, that is going to upgrade your sense of empowerment in your, in your life, right? You transitioning from the knight to the king in some way and in every way, honestly. And, um, 
with that, I also got the message, right? In terms of you embodying this this King of Wands and operating as God's eyes and ears, right? Um, this new leap, right, is about the path of least resistance opening up for you in a lot of ways and about you navigating the world with a particular kind of emotional intelligence and discretion and confidence as a confidant of the divine, right? That is what is being asked of you. And um, in terms of the card that we got for your highest potential outcomes for July, I was shuffling, I was just shuffling, and it took so long. A card just would not come out. And um, and I got the the words, like I heard patience. And then right after I heard the words patience, the Knight of Pentacles came out after I had just been shuffling for a long time, <laughs> you know? So July, you know, is about the journey. It's about you being present in process related to goals and some things that you're working on and also present as a witness to like everything that will be happening around you and you demonstrating a particular kind of empowerment, spiritual self-mastery, maturity, all of it, right? Because it all has meaning. And um, the attempted distractions on it, unexpected events, uh, insights, downloads, everything. This month is all about gifting you wisdom. It is all wisdom. And then the number uh, 155 came through when I got this message, right? And then, uh, you know, it was this indication that, you know, the number 155 is all about change. One is about enlightenment. Five, and it being 55 is all about indicating, right, that this new beginning, um, incredible, incredible changes that are happening for you that may be unexpected. It's about, you know, it all gifting you divine wisdom, right? The divine wisdom card was the card that I actually pulled to clarify the King of Wands. When I pulled the King of Wands, uh, in terms of the unexpected things that could be coming your way in July, right? And so it literally emphasizes that everything in July, particularly unexpected, positive, annoying, even less ideal changes or, or surprises, they will all be teaching you something and providing you an opportunity to respond from an empowered and faithful place and not react and, and to just respond from this space of maturity like a level up like this is going to be a month where it's like you're stepping into a new version of yourself in a way that is just going to feel so different for you um and again right so a lot of the sort of messages any surprises unexpected things it's also related to there being so many uranus aspects this month and uranus is all about providing these uh spiritual insights unexpected information um all of these kinds of things right so a lot of this is about uranus being at work as well but there's the message right to not let anything um like really disrupt you or knock you off your path or make you lose faith or, or, or just anything. It's like, also if this energy of like disruption, um, comes about, it's like, do not take any bait. Also do not push on any closed doors is also the message that came through as well. While, you know, still opening yourself up to receive the faded blessings around you, right? Um, as we have the eight of swords in reverse here is the advice and the take a leap is the advice, right? So there's a bit about, again, like I said, this path of least resistance. Um, you're going to feel it too. It's like, you're going to feel and know, like a lot of y'all already feel and know that you're being guided. Um, you, you know, there has been so much spiritual awakening, psychic activity for the Aries collective for a very long time. Um, so you all are very, very tapped in, um, and sort of on mission, right? And there is, um, 
just going to be something about the energy this month where it's like, it's going to be undeniable. And like, you're going to be so empowered and truly stepping into what it means to embody with unconditional faith and trust this identity as like an earth angel, this person who truly um, is God's eyes and ears, right? And you sort of coming on the other side of any sort of challenges or sort of maybe uh, difficult like human experiences, right? And understanding like your humanity in a different way in relationship to the wisdom that you have and the ways that you overcame certain things, right? With this strength card, right? That is, that has in many ways been this sort of like spiritual warrior initiation in a sense, right? And, um, yeah. So, I mean, there, I could go on a rabbit hole and get into like, you know, all the deep esoteric aspects about that, but. Um, you know who you are and, uh, yeah, this is just going to be a really interesting month. Leave some comments down below in terms of like how this manifests for you, what resonates while you also smash that like button. So, and subscribe to the channel. We're going to wrap up your reading with your angel number message. Okay. All right, Aries. So your angel number message for July is the number 133. All right. And the number one is all about instinct, intuition, progress and happiness, new beginnings, creation, independence and uniqueness, motivation, striving forward and progress. It's about ambition and willpower. And it also reminds us that we create our own realities with our thoughts, beliefs, and actions. Number three is about optimism and enthusiasm, creativity, self-expression, and communication, manifestation, growth, and expansion. Also just want to note here, Aries, that you absolutely need to take a look at the other videos here on the channel related to all of this. Um, for example, the Eclipse Season Guide is very, very uh, pertinent to you all. The North Node entering into Aries is in relationship to this Eclipse Season energy and the specific uh, practical and spiritual aspects of these eclipses this year, right? Where the eclipse, where the nodes are moving into your sign, setting off a series of eclipses that are going to be happening in your sign and your sister sign, Libra. We already had the first one in your sign. Uh, what was that in April, right? And so this energy is still in effect. Also, taking a look at the Venus in Leo um, astrology and, and, and tarot messages on the channel, as well as the Jupiter in Taurus one, okay? Because it's all about your creative and uh, entrepreneurial ventures and growth and expansion, all right? So, the number three is also related to the Ascendant Masters. It's about your relationship with the spirit realm, right? And how ascendant masters, angels, ancestors are around you guiding and assisting when asked. That is what master number 33 is about. It's about guidance. It's also about you in a sense, um, contributing to the spiritual upliftment of mankind. It's about compassion, blessings, and healing, being a teacher of teachers. It's about bravery and discipline and courage. And so angel number 133 is a message to give your fears, doubts, and worries to the angels and the ascendant masters so that they can be transmuted and healed. Trust that they support you completely and surround you with love and protection. Hello. Trust that the universal energies are working things out for your highest good, including any delays, right? With this 
with this Knight of Pentacles. And angel number 133 gives you the courage to live your life with enthusiasm and optimism, safe in the knowledge that you are well blessed, loved, and supported in all that you do. Live your life with joy, passion, and purpose as this will manifest your true desires. Be prepared to expand and increase your spiritual development and awareness. Angel number 133 brings a message from your angels that they are sending you positive energies, intentions, and affirmations. So pay attention to your thoughts, ideas, and insights this month because they are giving you information about the next steps to take along your spiritual path. And I'm getting also related to your practical professional ventures. So any positive changes or projects you are considering will be worth your while and you will be assisted in their undertaking. Wow, that's incredible. I just want you all to know that UA Light Celestial Insight includes all of these different ways that spirit channels messages uh, to you through me uh, and angel numbers being central to that. I get the numbers as they come through while I am channeling and I wait to read them to see how they align with the stars and the cards as I read them to you. So I am just as uh, surprised and excited by all all of the ways that the messages coincide. So give this video a like, subscribe, and stick around. Take a look at any of the other messages uh, for the month related to your sun, moon, rising, or any sign where you have a stellium. Definitely take a look at all of the um, current astrology transit predictions where I have not only astrology but personalized uh, tarot readings for you in relationship to how these important transits that are affecting the rest of the year and even into 2024 and beyond are affecting you and it includes specific civic spiritual guidance. So I hope that it helps and aids in your journey. Take good care.